Welcome to a bonus episode of Tales of the Trade with me, Chirag Desavi. Now, on our season finale last week, I spoke with the founder of Gombok, Tatiana Antonelli, about how she's been adapting her social enterprise to handle the impact of the lockdowns and the pandemic. Both of us have actually had numerous chats about the environment and the simple things that can be done over the last year as we've been developing the show Forward Talks. And so it was quite natural that we also spoke about the impact of all the sanitization and the re-emergence of single-use plastic in light of the various guidelines put in place around the world. Right now, everyone is, uh, you know, pushing for plastic plates, plastic cutlery, anything that's disposable. And people have lost faith in reusable. So I would really like to see people really reassessing the the need for disposable and realizing that whatever we reuse is totally safe if we use the proper measures like uh, dishwashers, um, the same way we wash our hands and it's safe. If we properly wash our dishes, it's safe. And, And restaurants are doing the same because otherwise we're going to be in a world filled with uh, waste again and all the efforts done in the past are completely lost. No, this is something, by the way, and I, again, I know we spoke about this too, like it's, it was very worrying to me that the initial impacts or the initial sort of um, reaction that a lot of people took was, okay, well, I guess I'm converting everything to plastic and so you can just throw it away and I'm going to wrap everything in double plastic because I want it to be safe. I want to show you that it's safe. There are a couple of cafes that I visit very often who are, they're very well aware that I do not want any plastic anywhere near me. And so they always give me stuff in a cup, right? And when this happened, uh, I went to one before the lockdown and I've been to one since the lockdown and both times two different cafes came and said, I'm really sorry, but we're not allowed to serve you in a mug. Is that okay? Right? And it's just one of those things where you're like, well, I mean, like, what do I do? Do I just reject the coffee and leave? <laughs> like, yes. you know, yeah. And so that, that's what I had. To, that's a, the first place, that's what I did. I said, okay, well, I don't want it. The second one was like, well, I can, I can offer you a paper cup. Um, and then we've, we've looked at the mask. We've looked at a lot of the initiatives that come out. And every time some, some of these initiatives, I read them and I just go like, Wait, how how is this how is this better? Like we can wait another week until you figure out a better solution. Then let's let's you know let's dump more plastic. And uh, same thing with the chemicals. I feel like you know, and we've had so many conversations on Forward Talks about the chemical compositions of of disinfectants and those kind of things. And you're thinking, I mean, you can just imagine the spike in demand right now of everything um, that that is dangerous. Yes, and actually, uh, now that you talk about chemicals, I was surprised to read last week an article uh, mentioning what is inside the hand sanitizers yeah. and uh, the fact that we need to be very careful at which brands we choose and to look into the ingredients because somehow we we think oh, it's just a gel with some alcohol inside. Uh, no. So again, we need to you know raise awareness about these and make sure people have the right information. Uh, again, the role of, of regulations and, and the government and authorities is crucial because they are the ones, you know, people are looking to for the right information. So if the authorities say all restaurants will have to serve plastic, then yeah, the then restaurant or yeah. the cafe will tell you, sorry, but I have to give you the coffee in a plastic cup. But it's also true that sometimes nobody reads properly what the authorities yeah. share, and uh, I actually saw that when it was um, when they were talking about regulations for cafes and restaurants, it was mentioning that if you have a proper dishwasher that you use at certain temperatures with certain recommended products, it was totally fine. Yeah. But it was easier, you know, to say, okay, just plastic. Just let's still go plastic. Yeah. This is this is exactly the problem. Yeah. This is the problem. We need to, and again, the water. I mean, you know, we've been running drop it for four years, five years now, yeah. convincing them that like showing them the information yeah. for them to understand how safe it is to drink from the tap. Yeah. Uh, we've convinced so many companies, thousands of employees drinking tap, filtered tap water, and suddenly no more. Yeah. And water now back. back to thousands yeah. of bottles every day in the office. This for me was really sad. No, and I think this is where what you talk about the stick element, right? Like sort of having regulations and penalties around a lot of these things would, would definitely change companies' mindsets, right? And we've seen a lot of these sort of the e-taxes that are being applied around the world, right? To say like if you're polluting, then therefore you must um, you know, compensate so that it can be used towards environment initiatives. 
companies start changing the way they operate, right? Because they don't want to pay that tax. And so that, that's one of, it's a big way of making, making a difference for sure. And also, I think we need to empower consumers. Um, I think when you have, you know, the, the two parts, the, the regulations, the policies, and then an informed consumer, it's a win-win situation. You, that's, that's been one of the toughest things to do, I think, during, I think this pandemic has kind of, you, were, you made this point earlier, I think this pandemic has exposed a lot of, kind of see really where those gaps are, right? So there are gaps in communication, we see that every day, right, information. I think also at the beginning it was quite crazy uh, because the World Health Organization was saying yes, mask, no mask, again, yes, there mask. Was, uh, there was a lot of uncertainty <laughs> around everything, right? Um, so again, you know, it's hard for, for individuals, for companies to, to understand what do they need to do? What is the best thing to do? Uh, now we're reaching a point where I think the ideas are, are a bit more clear. And uh, we know that reusable masks, if done properly, are perfectly viable, a viable option. So uh, from that point of view, I think there's lots of work to do, but it's doable and we're going to work on that. Thank you very much for joining us on this season of Tales of the Trade. There's more information in our show notes, including Tatiana's interview with Arab News on how the lockdown and the current pandemic is posing its own threat to the environment. If you've enjoyed this episode or any others from this season, we'd really appreciate it if you could leave us a review in Apple Podcasts and share it with your friends. It helps more people discover the show. We'll see you all in 2021.